Sometimes you lose games. Sometimes you lose games. Let me show you sometimes you lose games. Let me fucking show you sometimes you lose games. It happens, apparently. Let me show you sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Some fucking times, guys. Here we have it with sometimes. You've seen it here first. Sometimes. Unbelievable how terrible these players are. And what I don't understand, like, if you get to diamond, shouldn't you know how to play? Why does it feel like you only generously, maybe, one out of ten people actually know how to win? What's up guys, it's Cracker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to survive through Diamond. Since we are approaching mid-season 10, and most of you guys are probably on lockdown, I figured quite a lot of you are probably still in Diamond, or approaching Diamond, and since there's no real guide on YouTube telling you the truth about Diamond, I thought this is the perfect time to give you a rundown on how to go through Diamond. I've been in and out of Diamond on multiple servers and on multiple accounts. Basically, I've been through hell and back. And I'm going to use this video to serve as a warning and as a mini guide to help you. So we are entering the first stage of Diamond. If this is your first time, you're probably immensely happy and you're probably getting a dopamine rush seeing the promotion animation. And at this point, there's two types of people. The first type believes they made it and they're happily content with their rank, so they stop playing the game seriously at this point. They'll play the decay games every 21 days to avoid getting demoted, but they'll just stay in Diamond 4 forever. And that's fine, they're happy with it. But one little pet peeve of mine is, whenever someone asks what rank they are, they consider themselves as Diamond without saying Diamond 4. And let's be honest here, they're not really Diamond if they're just hovering low Diamond 4. That's like me saying I'm EUS Grandmaster when I only peaked 19 LP this season. And then there's the second type of people. This type of person wants more. He knows he's destined for better and greater things. He wants to be on the top of solo queue, playing with his favourite pro players and streamers. He wants to be considered one of the best players in his region. He wants respect. And most of all, he thinks he deserves it. And that's the downfall of most Diamond 4 players. They are simply aiming way too high. Unless you're a prodigy, the first time you enter Diamond, you will probably be there for a bit. I actually dug up a past post of mine I posted on Reddit about two years ago. And I was expressing my feeling of being hard stuck. Bear in mind, this is my first time entering Diamond and it's my first time of having a hard stuck feeling. I kid you not, one month after posting this and 200 games later, I quit the game. I simply gave my account to my friend and peaced out. Although I did come back in Season 9 and I managed to get out of Diamond. The first problem I encountered in Diamond, my mental broke and I couldn't handle it anymore. And the thing that broke me was, the climb after Diamond is monumentally different compared to the climb below Diamond. People often say it's a marathon, not a sprint. But well, that's an understatement, it's more like an ultra marathon. Weeks and months of it at a time you can be stuck on a certain division and you might even not even progress in LP after days and days of grinding. In fact, you might regress and go backwards. There's a reason you see low diamond players with thousands and thousands of games. And that's because most of us autopilot our games. We're not thinking properly, we're not striving to improve to improve our macro or anything like that. We're just playing and playing and hoping one day I'll get a lucky win streak, win 20 games in a row and probably get into challenger. Well my friend, if you are diamond and you are watching this, you're probably going to be hard stuck for a very very long time with that mindset. Honestly, I have the answers for low diamond and I can give it to you right now. My answer to low diamond is just improving your macro. Honestly, you don't really need mechanics up to grandmasters. Now what is macro? You all should know this for your diamond, but macro is basically improving your CS per minute, knowing when to go into trades, knowing when to silo, knowing how to team fight, all the basics. And there's thousands, I, I'm not even exaggerating, there's thousands of guides out there dedicated to improving each aspect of macro. Just learning the basics will get you out of low diamond, and I know from experience, I can get out of low diamond in a day. He's going over that cliff! <laughs> now we enter diamond 2 and diamond 1. Welcome to the gates of hell. This section of solo key has produced some of the biggest cycles we have seen in our world. Very few people can get in and even fewer people can get out. And trust me, even if you do get out, you otherwise go back after a few months or you get on with life with the byproduct of having PTSD flashbacks and mental scarring. The reason why this elo is so cursed is because unlike Diamond 4, you are actually close to the promised land. So close, yet so far. And I'm not gonna lie, for EU West, most of the season I've been here and I've also been in denial. A lot of you know me as a Yurik one trick and how outspoken I am about how weak Yurik is in the current meta. But what I haven't addressed was myself. Yes, Yorick might be weak, but it's mostly me. This is what it is, okay? I said empty your mind. Be formless. Shapeless. Like water. 
Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. So I had an epiphany. Now I know I might sound crazy linking a Bruce Lee quote to League, but hear me out lads. The water that Bruce Lee is trying to talk about, in my opinion, when it comes to League is the mental. Think about it, you need to adapt to the meta, you need to adapt to matchups, you need to adapt to the current scenario. What's all this complaining you're gonna do? It's gonna crash your mental and what you're gonna do, you're gonna stay hard stuck and do nothing with life. Now it's becoming more of a life lesson here, but I've been going through my comments on one of my videos talking about winning streaks and losing streaks and all I see just nagging, nagging, complaining and all these guys are all hard stuck. Even me, I'm promoting this stupid mentality in one of my videos. This is the mentality that keeps us hard stuck. And the reason I had this epiphany was because earlier in the season I 1v1'd a 1k LP challenger player. And you know what happened? He exposed me. He absolutely decimated me in laning phase and carried the game. And I don't know if you guys watch anime but it was almost similar to when the main character gets wrecked by an OP character and learns a life lesson. Now I'm not saying I'm the main character, what I'm saying is there's levels to this. If you play at a high challenger level, you will otherwise get close to that level or even to that level no matter what champ you are playing. So what I'm saying at the end of the day is you. You're the reason why you are not high elo or in challenger or masters or grandmaster. And I'm not just saying to all the diamond players out there, I'm saying to everyone now at this point. If you are in that division you are right now, you deserve to be in that division and when you get better you will climb out eventually. And for the diamond one players out there, get good and maybe you might just reach the promised land. So that's the end of my video, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more knowledgeable content and I'll see you in the next one.